Yeah. When we talk about financially independent, most people can understand what that means in terms of the world. I think for me, from my perspective, it was that I realized that there was, there was actually one form of dependency that was good. I mean, in this world, dependency is not a good word. <laughs> you know, whether we talk about codependent relationships or being dependent on your parents or dependent on government handouts or dependent on uh, friends to support you or whatever, that's not a good thing. And, and if we talk about being dependent on, on drugs or anything like that, that's not a good thing. What I started to realize was there was one form of dependency that actually was good, helpful, healthy, and that is dependency, we could call it intuitive dependence. That we have a conditioned mind that has all these false beliefs that are based on scarcity, fear and lack. And then we have an intuitive side, which we could say is, is our spirit, the spiritual reality within us. And as soon as I discovered, after 10 years of full-time university, so I did learn a lot about the world, economics and the body and medicine and architecture. I studied all the fields uh, that the world has to offer. But I actually discovered after that, after I left the university, was that, that if I could open up and become dependent on the spirit, that that would be the answer to all of my problems. That that spiritual dependency would, would be a good form of of financial dependency. Uh, there's workbook lessons in the Course that say, I will step back and let him lead the way. Jesus is always teaching, you know, you know, look at the lilies of the field. They neither spin nor toil. And take no thought for what you shall wear and eat. And seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all things else will be added unto you. Um, even nowadays with like the law of, like the, the movie The Secret, the law of attraction, it's saying that if you tune in spiritually, that everything comes to you through a spiritual practice, not through necessarily the way the world would say to build financial independence. The goal is the same, is, is eliminating a sense of lack. Whether we talk about the, the sense of trying to become financially independent in the world, where you have plenty of resources and there's no need to strive so much as, as it is just to, to let those resources work for you. But with the spiritual journey, it's like what I have found is that everything that I need to fulfill my function comes very effortlessly and very easily. I, I w I've never been into vision boarding or trying to visualize goals and for the future, it's been more of just, okay, tell me what you want, tell me what you want to do your work and I'll gladly do it. And things have come very, very easily. Like I didn't ever, I never planned on doing world travels. Uh, I was, I never dreamed of it. Uh, I never had any ambitions to travel the world. But when a, a a new friend met me and said, you should start sharing this stuff around the world. It was a novel idea to me. And he happened to be a businessman who traveled a lot and who accumulated a lot of frequent flyer points. So he not only delivered the message, you, you need to travel more and share these ideas overseas, but he said, uh, how about South America? And I said, I've never I've never had a thought about that. And I said, well, there's this lady that wrote last week to a friend of mine saying, so happy you're coming to Argentina. And I said, what's that about? And she said, oh, I just sent her some free CDs and she gave us an invitation. Turns out the man had uh, entered a contest where if you stay at these certain hotels, dine at these restaurants, take these airlines, you could win the grand prize of one million frequent flyer miles. 
which he did win the grand prize. So he was offering me an invitation to travel overseas and offering to fly me and some of my friends business class to South America on this South America frequent flyer pool that he had. So that was an example to me of the means are provided along with, with the function, which is very different from the way we work in this world. We think, oh, it's great to have goals, but hey, you're not going anywhere without the resources, without the money, the whatever, the, the means being given. So that's one thing that's very much of a distinction. I find that, that I've gone into this flow and everything that I seem to need is provided in that flow. And I've kind of gone the opposite of, of trying to work in the world's ways to become financially independent because I've seen that, that given over to the spirit, the spirit can use all of those symbols but they come in very unconventional ways. They don't come from planning per se. They come from inner listening and trusting and following and then they just come very effortlessly. But the goal is the same. Nobody likes to feel trapped. Nobody likes to feel at the mercy of something. Nobody likes to feel that, that they can't do something because they just don't have the means to do it. And in the world's terms, money is the means. And in the spiritual journey, the miracle, uh, the miracle of perception is the means. And uh, the Bible says, with God all things are possible. I would say that translates to, as you really learn to behold the miracle, then you find that all things that you are asked to do are not only possible, but they're, they're very effortless. So it works out really good. <laughs>